We all could use a little laugh right now. So this is Try Not to Laugh, Episode 1, Michael Booth and Scott Fowler. Thanks for watching. This is the Matt Fouch YouTube channel, and I'm so thrilled that you guys are here. I posted on Facebook the other day about um, asking folks, what's your favorite moment between two artists that was your favorite funny moment is what the question was. And a ton of you commented if you follow me on Facebook, and it just got me thinking, how cool is it that we have these great moments on the road? And, and I started thinking about all the things that I've just died laughing over over the years. And one of the moments that came to mind included Michael Booth and Scott Fowler. And so I asked both of them to join me for this. They're going to share one of the funniest stories I've ever heard that happened on the road. Guys, thank you for being with me. And uh, the point in all this is just, we want to provide hopefully a, a time and a moment of laughter for you all and some hopefully some comedy relief because there's so much we can get so fearful and, and just you know what's all going on. So hopefully this is some fun time. So guys, I'm done. Take it away. Okay. If it's all right, I'd like to start. And, and I just want to qualify this by saying it is funny but I would never do this again, <laughs> okay? Because we're ultimately talking about the Bible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just qualify this and let Scott take it from there. And then Scott, if you'd like me to add to it later, I'm happy to jump in. But it is referring to the Bible, the Word of God, and I, I ended up doing something to it that <laughs> quite often, again, I just wouldn't do it again because I've, I've grown a little in my reverence towards the Lord. <laughs> And my, I don't know, maybe it was the influence of being around Scott Fowler that made me do it. <laughs> with, that in, with that in mind, Scott, uh, you take it away. Well, years ago, there was a, a portion of the program where uh, to introduce a song, I would read a set of scriptures. And um, it was that part in the program where I was reaching around to grab my Bible to read uh, early in the morning, uh, they came into the sepulcher bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And that's about all of that I have memorized. And so I'm reaching for my Bible, very serious moment. And I start to open to that portion of scripture and my Bible will not open. <laughs> And we are on the program with the Booth Brothers. And I'm fumbling with my Bible, still trying to look at the crowd. I've got the place earmarked where I can just open right up to it. And I can't get the Bible to open. So I look down at my Bible. And there is a piece of duct tape from cover to cover, like a little clasp holding the Bible shut. And I look in the back of the room. And I see what appears to be the silhouette of Michael. Turns out it was Lucifer himself standing, <laughs> standing in the back of the church, doing what he's doing right now. Hand over his mouth, laughing, shaking his head. And so there I am at this moment. And Michael, why don't you tell the folks what was going through my mind? Well... Let me back up just a little bit to add a little bit more to this. Uh, first of all, it was not duct tape. It was clear tape. And that was the point because you couldn't tell it had been taped up. I had seen this thing that you were doing. You were one of the first people to take a Bible. I'm sure other people did it years past. But you took a Bible up on stage, which is a great thing to do. But I noticed, you know, as an MC, you get in this rhythm. And, and, and so, and you get your hand motions become the same thing, especially when you're holding a microphone. I'd see Scott reach back, grab that Bible and just flip it. He'd flip it and it would open to the right spot. And then he would quote the scripture, holding the microphone with one hand and the Bible with the other. <laughs> and we had, to, we were in Michigan somewhere, I think Lansing or somewhere like that. Yeah. Yeah. And Every, the place was empty except for me, Jim Brady, and Scott Howard. And I went up on the stage. I said, Howie, I said, you got any tape? He said, well, let me, uh, let me go look around. I said, just Scott's tape. I said, he said, if, so he brought me some. And I took, because my thought was, how funny would it be 
<laughs> if he, if, how funny would be if he grabbed that Bible with 2,000 people looking at him and it wouldn't open? What would he do? <laughs> so I took it real carefully, real carefully. I just, I just taped um, the top and I, oh, I, I opened the, the leather leaf, the first big leather thing, binder. I let that be loose. And from then I would tape uh, up top one all the way across the Bible and then down below all the way across. So it, when Scott grabbed the Bible, he, he flipped it open. <laughs> or no, he tried I didn't. To, and no, he didn't. And it would not open. It would not open. And so that's the moment, Scott, you just mentioned a moment ago. What am I back there thinking? See, I knew what would happen is he would have to choose in his mind Am I going to ignore this, try to smoothly get through it, or am I going to have to turn it funny, <laughs> or am I going to, well, you know, all the, the plethora of options he's going to have to have. To, it was just blessing my soul to sit back there and watch his <laughs> mind spin, and I can still quote what he did, because he's, he's holding the microphone in one hand, the Bible in the other, he said, let me tell you something, folks, let me tell you something, let me tell you. Michael Booth, what did you do to my Bible? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just decided to stop and address it because I figured <laughs> that audience needed to know what kind of person you were and how much fun you were having watching me squirm do I just quote part of it? Do I move on? Do I address? And I decided to point you out and expose you for the fraud that you are. <laughs> and so I just told everybody, Michael Booth has taped my Bible shut. And so I will not be reading from God's word tonight. <laughs> And so it was a comical moment that, as you can tell, still makes us laugh. It's probably the funniest thing that's ever happened to me on stage, ever. I, I got to be honest, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I feel bad, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> you do not. And for you to be disingenuous again and say that you would never consider doing that, I know it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, help me, uh, Matt! Help me, uh, uh, Michael. Do you have a? Do you have any? Uh, any? I mean, was there ever a payback moment or anything for this? Or uh, Michael, oh. do you have anything to say? I mean, I I don't know. I think there. I think there was a payback. I don't know how direct it was, but uh, one of those cruises we had been on. Um, the first program, I thought, you know, it'd be cool if I go out there with a, 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 a life raft on me. And then the Booth Brothers sing the song, Sail On. Sail on when the water gets hot. It's real cool, nice opening. We got, it's real funny. I got the vest on. I had had my vest on. I was backstage talking to Scott for, I don't know how long, 15 minutes or more. And I walk out and we're singing our song. And I noticed the people in the first 10 rows are just, <laughs> giggling they're all giggling and looking up and pointing their fingers and poking each other and looking and so the whole we did the whole song my arms are flailing i'm doing the whole thing and scott you're gonna have to help me remember but the bottom line is my zipper was down and oh i know what it was you came out and said michael i gotta tell you something your zipper's down <laughs> and i said well, didn't you know backstage when I was talking to you for 15 minutes? And Scott Fowler, you said. Absolutely, I knew. <laughs> and I wanted all of those people on the cruise to know your zipper was down. <laughs> so right there in front of everybody, you just simply reached down and pulled your zipper up and kept right on going. I, I, did, I did turn around and do that, though. <laughs> oh, that was very modest of you. <laughs> they had already seen it. You might as well. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that is awesome. Man, guys, thank you so much for sharing that story. I crack up every time I hear that. I, you oh, know, that's a good one. I think it's one of those things that, um, you know, you really don't get the full 
appreciation of it until you've been on stage and in you know in that moment or whatever but still it's so hilarious and i love hearing you guys talk tell about i know scott has told it before from stage a time or two uh, out on the road so guys thank you for sharing that wonderful story with us i know everybody absolutely loves it hey you can go to legacy5.com uh, folks are asking us when are you going to be back on the road or you know when's your schedule all that go to legacy5.com look at our schedule as stuff comes up it'll go on there boothbrothers.com same thing you can follow them there guys thanks for your time and sharing tonight i appreciate it <laughs> it, it was you, fun man. it was yeah. fun i enjoy hey make sure you you got to get howie and fowler together to talk about the sheet cake sometimes so yes <laughs> i'll i'll, I'll well, buy that's a, a good one too yeah <laughs>